This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and today we're in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am here with Ziki Tao. Since 1990, she has been your stress management expert and manifestation queen, who is basically merging science with holistic methods in order to overcome stress-related obstacles. I'm joined here with the founder, public figure, author. Ziki, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so honored and excited. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. You were formally educated at iTech Academy in South Africa. You're an award-winning expert contributing to multiple media outlets. You volunteer your time and have over really three decades as a master mentor and stress management expert. Share with me a little bit how this great cause has changed your life and is your passion today. Thank you for what a beautiful question definitely has changed my life and continuously changing my life every single day, including this moment right now. I'm really excited to be here with you and share this moment of, you know, it's every day is a new beginning for me and connections is everything, everything. And that's what's became my passion through my career. It's not so much um, what I do, but the transformation that happens afterwards that manifested into this huge passion and drive that I have. I can see your passion is really heartfelt of what you do every day. I mean, from our schools to our corporations and everywhere in between, stress exists and continues to keep us from really living our best lives. Is a stress management solution maybe more in need today than even three decades ago when you first started out? Absolutely more needed today because what we're going through in our world, I don't I think it's the first time in history that we're going through multiple things at the same time. You're talking wars, COVID, um, inflation. There's so much happening at the same time. People are almost on a, you know, they're feeling like what's coming next. Yeah. So it's an automatic stress that they're feeling every single moment of their life. I mean, you have become a foremost authority in mind over body techniques. Why has science with holistic methods seem to give you the best results? I think a combination of both is very important because if you go extreme one way or, an, or another, I find from my own experience, you do, you do not get high results. Like you're not as successful in the result if you don't combine the two because we need facts as well and we need frequencies, energies, and this is why we have science and neuroscience. And I love any studies of how the brain works. It's helped me tremendously in my life and with my own trauma and survival. So I know that the both together, like breath techniques, meditation, even spirituality, if you want to add a belief system to it, and it's not necessary, but it, of course, enhances the practice. But science, definitely, and also medical as well. I see more of that happening, the combination coming about, um, which is, I think is a good thing. I mean, you were a visionary behind SNAP, an instant mm -hmm. stress relief method. How is yes. this willpower seminar able to really kind of reprogram our minds? And why do many of us need to be reprogrammed? <laughs> Again, because most people live in the future, so it's what do I need to accomplish next? And especially here in the United States, we're in a go-go um, moment to moment. There's no time. There's no time to sit. There's no time to meditate. They, you barely have time to take a bathroom break. Therefore, um, just from my own experience with corporations and a lot of men as yourself, successful men, um, I, I hear the same thing. Tziki, I don't have time. So I created a snap technique where it's basically mind over body command. So you shift your mindset from A to B in less than a minute and a half, and you are in a state of relaxation and able to focus on your next goals, projects. That is fantastic. Yeah. I, I would agree with you. I have mastered the do list of tomorrow, but the mastering the B of the moment right now is kind of beyond many folks. I mean, you you have clients of all ages and they're worldwide. You're an internationally acclaimed expert. Where do you yes. hope to implement this stress management curriculum to really get the best results? I think the best result would be from our children because the children are the change. 
and the global change that is possibly happening right now. You can even say that younger people, even my own sons, they're only in their 20s and they are multitasking entrepreneurs and they are able to expand and visual. They have a different vision than what we used to be and we used to have as we were young. So I think schools, universities, um, medical um, places like should be vital to include stress management, meditation, breast techniques, and so forth. If we catch, catch them at the beginning like that, obviously that's going to spread into their job, into the corporations, and really make a difference out there. I mean, this has become more than just you, but really you've created a community where you dedicate countless hours to enrich the lives of your members. How do they become part of that community, and what are they going to find there? They're going to find hope, first of all. People need to be heard, people need to be seen, and people need to be understood. So when I deal with a client, a corporation, children, teens, it doesn't matter. They need to be known that they are being seen right now. So they're understood. And once they're understood, they they receive a gift of hope that they themselves can utilize their gifts, their goals, and manifest their dreams into reality. Letting everyone know every one of us matters. I think that's huge. I mean, you're an award-winning expert and have appeared in many media outlets. Is the passion that drives you really about sharing what you have learned along the way in your own life and been able to overcome your challenges? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I think my experiences is my highest life degree. And I love just sharing on the same level with someone else so they don't feel less or more, that we connect, first of all, human to human. In other words, I'm here, I see you, we feel each other, let's create something great together. So they feel comfortable forming a connection first. Human, human to connection. You're not afraid to share your experiences and, and tragedies or triumphs you've had in the past. You combine guided imagery, sound therapy, energy psychology and science of breath techniques to help others overcome many issues, even ailments. Um, share with us some of the wins that you have been able to witness and see with folks that you've helped. Sure. Um, first of all, most people have, you know, financial difficulties and that causes a lot of stress. If that's not a huge pandemic, <laughs> you know, a lot of people just really, it takes them to a, a very low level of stress. Second, anxiety and uh, grief. Grief is a huge one because pe someone is grieving over something and it's not necessarily someone that you have lost, it's something that you have lost. So those are the main three things that I work with um, that are very common, financial, um, grief, anxiety, as well as relationships. A lot of people struggle in their relationships and they want to become a better person, a better husband, a better wife, a better, you know, just better in relationships. I would agree. I see a lot more anxiety, not only in in a business world, but I also see it in our youth, which is can be kind of concerning. I mean, you provide help in the Suka community online, and you're also an author. Where can the public find some of your writings uh, that you hope to put out there? Um, some of the writings is already on Amazon. However, we're just currently in a big, big project um, to publish a beautiful book. So I will keep you updated as soon as there's more news about it. So it's Excellent. So in, the pro just, in the process. They can follow you on social media out there. You're going to keep people apprised of where they can find that book and your writings. That is great. Most recently, you were recognized as one of the global icons in 2023 be it in the media or red carpet events, are you honored and even almost humbled to be a part of others' missions across the globe? You know, you said it so beautifully. I would have to say I'm super humbled and as well as honored, but mostly humbled. Every day is a surprise and it's a, another day, another gift to share with you and everyone else. Very humbled. That is excellent. As a mother, a mentor, a leader. Like others, you witness many blessings, but also turmoil and ongoing wars in our world today. Is this your way kind of giving back? And is it rewarding for you? I think it's more than giving back. It's my mission. It is something 
that I want people to remember how valuable they are and how much they can provide and gift to someone else as well. And also to remind them that they're never alone. So it's a passion beyond belief. And yes, it's it's (laughs) it's an ongoing drive. (laughs) It's the ongoing drive that gets you up every day and you're excited to see what the next moment brings. But you will definitely be known for that as somebody who makes people realize that they matter and that we all have to connect um, in order to attain our dreams. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you can see all the recognition she has received for her work and learn more about all of her services. She provides stress management, mentorship, public speaking. Um, Definitely read many of the testimonials, then book a consultation today right online. Once again, that is Ziggy Tao. Manifest your best life. This is Gary Atencio with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.